This is month of the military caregiver and I couldn't think of a better event. I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> I couldn't think of a better way to spoil you ladies and have a day of just beauty and relaxation and fun. We are in San Diego at the Paul Mitchell School for our first ever military caregiver event. We brought all these ladies together to have a glam day. Yes! Okay, you need lashes like for every day. So these are the caregivers of post 9-11 wounded ill and injured veterans. Paul Mitchell donated all the hair and makeup. Yeah. Dramatic. Yeah. Dramatic? You want dramatic? Yeah. We've been supporting the Gary Denise Foundation for quite a few years. I love volunteering for him. I love being a part of it. It makes me feel good. We're all about giving back. It's very much a part of their day-to-day -day life. This is definitely a treat. The Cal Beauty oh, Yeah, I love these types of things, and that's part of the reason I'm with Paul Mitchell is because we always are about giving back to others and helping the community and just making the world a better place. We've done so much for our wounded veterans and our snowball families and, and all the different people in this area, but the caregivers have always been ones that we've wanted to be able to support as well. It's good to have somebody pour back into us. It's appreciated. <laughs> You're gonna get me teary eyed now. <laughs> we have approximately 50 ladies that are coming in to get zhuzhed up. A day like this is amazing. I mean, like, I don't think I've ever had a day like this ever in my life. They'll get assigned to a student. Probably around 30 students that are working on the women right now. I'm very grateful. <laughs> and I'm very grateful for all this. I appreciate, I appreciate it, Erica, thank you. They can get just an upstyle, some sort of braid, or if they want to do like a nice blow dry or a finishing touch with a hot iron. Ringlets, curls, flat irons, they're working on all of that kind of stuff. Whatever makes them feel best about themselves, they can talk to the student about that in their consultation and then receive that service. I love her, she's adorable. I love her. I wish she was closer to home so she can come over and do this to me on a regular. <laughs> I'll, I'll cook for her. <laughs> David's Bridal came in this year and they donated all the dresses, shoes, and jewelry for all the ladies. I like this one and this is really pretty too. And then they get to keep it and wear it again and have it in their repertoire for years to come. This dress is great. It's like made for you. I know, it really is made for you. It's awesome. I love seeing these girls with the smiles on their faces, relaxing, and you know, like when you do your hair and makeup, you're just like, whatever. But like having someone else do it, you feel like a million dollars. It's so nice to get pampered and just not have to do my own makeup or my own hair. All these military caregivers are caring for a veteran who is severely disabled in some capacity. A lot of people tell me, I don't know how you do it. Um, and I just say, you, you don't have a choice, you have to. You know, you have to find a, if you can't, you have to find a way to. We're the safe place, so we absorb those emotions and those struggles that they have, you know, and it affects us. It's hard, there's a lot of things that you do weather through and that, you know, kind of wears you down as well. Um, but it's a great experience, you know, standing by my best friend, my husband, it's an act of love. <laughs> it really is. Just relax, have fun, breathe, this is your day. And then I can go home and look pretty for my husband. Yeah! <laughs> I'm sure he gets tired of seeing me in my leggings and mom bun. You're gonna look so pretty too. Look at it,